So I wanted to help get those roots to grow much deeper because it's hard. If you have a tree with very deep roots, it's hard to pull it out. But if the roots are shallow, it's easy. So what can we do to bring those roots very low? And it's cool. Roots grow lower because the water source is lower. We want them to go more and more towards the water. How can we get these kids to the water? We thought, you know, a summer camp would be great. Have them come in summer, have them uh, enter and have them have playtime until we're all gathered. And then we pray together. We have a spiritual word. Uh, and then we, uh, we have an outing. We go out, we do our thing, we go to a museum, we go to, a, um, uh, to the beach, or we actually I found out the beach is not a good idea. Beach is off limits. Beach is a horrible idea for kids. Don't, do not take kids to the beach, but uh, you know, take them to a museum, take them to a park, take them to the aquarium, uh, take them to the farm. That, that was a lot of fun. Maybe I'll talk about that if we really want to get into details on things. It's cool. But, um, but after that, you know, get them tired, come back to church, have a parent prepare food for us. And then after we'll have uh, two hours of lessons. And it, it came out to kids would start arriving at church at 8 a.m. and kids would be leaving at 8 p.m. We found we had a 12-hour schedule twice a week. <laughs> you can see logistically right away that this is not sustainable. You can't have servants serving for 12 hours and probably with all the kids that show up, it's somewhere around 30 to 40. So you could imagine some churches demand more servants per youth. I've been at one church where they want 10 servants per per three youth. I've been to some where it's, unfortunately, we don't have many servants. So you have uh, 10 youth and one servant. So it's a completely different ratio. But logistically, it doesn't seem to work. And then how do you transport those kids? Uh, how do you get them in these activities? How do you get them to pay for it? How, how do you get all these things? And especially when it's a, a big group of kids that they just came from Egypt. So they don't have a lot of money. They don't have a lot to spend on these things. And very quickly, you could realize, well, this is going to be a disaster. This is not going to work. Well, my friend and I, we prayed a lot about it, a lot. And I remember our, the, my father, Confession, who was in charge of uh, that uh, the junior high part of the service, he was pressing us pretty pretty hard on like, whether we should do it or not. I remember I remember begging. I remember texting every day. I remember putting in arguments. I remember like not arguing with them, but like this is this is why it would be good. And proposals and all these things and logistics and coming up with stuff. And I I remember the day he's finally like, you know what, go for it. I remember sitting at Starbucks two weeks trying to or maybe it was a month, trying to write all the materials, get everything prepared. Uh, we tried our best. For the glory of God. I remember we we promised, let's be organized. So we had a meeting with the parents and I, I was going to lead the meeting and I actually dressed up and I had a tie and I had everything and giving a full presentation to the parents, why it's good talking to them about the, uh, the curriculum. As I still remember one of the parents had a question. They're like, is origin going to be on the curriculum? And I said, of course. And that was one of the cool things that we had. We wanted the, the youth to be exposed to the church fathers. And what we did was we took uh, the ancient Christian commentary on scripture and we, uh, we simplified the quotes into easier language, things that they could understand. And we found the kids were reading the church fathers in, in words that they could get. That, that was pretty cool. I didn't know the parents would be so engaged. And we ended up charging $50. And this was, uh, I think, uh, like a nine week, a nine week program with outings every uh, twice a week with outings on both days. We got all the food donated. Thank God. We asked the parents and they, they overwhelmingly, they came and they donated food. We had snacks donated. I remember we, we charged $50 and one of the parents came up and he's like, $50 a week, right? No, 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 no. $50 for the whole entire program. He's like, you're joking, right? I'm like, no, because we managed to find ways to cut costs, things that were free, uh, servants donating for gas. We had uh, one servant, uh, his, his, uh, the, he donated vans. He gave us all the funds we needed for transportation. 
and he <laughs> I still re I still remember he's like the one thing I ask teach the kids how to flush the toilets of all things because <laughs> they would go into the church and they'd just leave the toilets the way they were and that was a big deal to him we said okay I promise I remember giving giving sermons in the church speaking about the love we have for God the love of the church and we demonstrate demonstrate such love through flushing the toilets <laughs> using the flush as one would say they would there was one parent who's like here's two hundred dollars and i'm like whoa two you know it's only 50. no 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 this is for those who can't afford it and you know what even fifty dollars for nine weeks there were still families that could not afford it and we always had to think about those families and thank god this is what i really lo love about the church is there's a family that can't afford something and there's a family that can easily afford it. And that family that easily affords it thinks about those other families. They give as they give what they can, which is a lot. And that other family, they give what they want. You know, we just ask them simply, how much can you pay? What's reasonable for you? They pay that much. And thank God that other family pays the rest. And it's, you know, I, I, I can't pay at all. Okay. We don't care. It's not about the money. It never was about the money. And service should never be about money. We just do it and God provides. And